Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa arrived in the kingdom after a visit to Thailand. His Royal Highness was received at the airport by a number of royal family members, the southern governor, officials in the kingdom and the Thai chartered affair to the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister had departed Thailand earlier in the day where he was bid farewell by a representative of the Thai king, a representative of the Thai government and a number of officials in the Thai government. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, congratulating him on the third anniversary of his accession to the throne. He expressed pride in the brotherly relations between the two countries and the close integration in various fields. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Saudi Crown Prince, Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, congratulating him on the third anniversary of the custodian of the two holy mosques accession to the throne. He expressed pride in the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and the close integration in the various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the Saudi Crown Prince abundant health and happiness and the Saudi people further progress and prosperity. 
The second physical auction of private vehicle number plates took place yesterday in the Gulf Hotel. More details in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Mazed, in association with Arabian Auction, held their second physical auction of private vehicle number plates, generating 660,000 Bahraini dinars in revenue to be transferred to the Ministry of Finance, aiming to play a positive role supporting Bahrain's long-standing diversification efforts. Noting that auctions are an efficient mechanism to increase market competition. The auction sector in Bahrain is relatively new, so. Uh, having such auctions in Bahrain would definitely help out the auction sector. It will help out uh, businesses to grow, such as uh, Mazad. And uh, the, the way we, we do our business is basically the proceeds of the, that we generate from these auctions are uh, directly go to the Ministry of Finance and to the government's revenue stream. So we look forward to expanding our businesses more to uh, include uh, auctions and other sectors that would definitely help out the, the business sector in Bahrain. It was a great auction. The, the prices were fetching uh, high prices. Uh, based on the demand and supply, uh, uh, we had uh, good good prices, uh, good show. Uh, I, I wish all, all, all bidders and the participants had uh, great moments in, uh, in enjoying the experience of the physical auction. The auction included 25 combinations of new 610,000 and 620,000 categories. Bidders who are crazy about unique numbers, car lovers and those who buy number plates as an investment were all participating in the auction, competing to get great value deals and of course the best numbers. The bids were very thrilling and it got more exciting whenever the prices got higher and the suspense music got louder. Of the new combinations, 610,000 received the highest bid at 80,000 Bahraini dinars. I uh, hope to do the, uh, like every three months or four months, uh, to do that uh, a live uh, auction because the electric option will be, uh, the price will be low. For the live uh, auction, it will be more successful and it will be more uh, earnings. A raffle including all bidders was also held offering two special numbers to make it even more exciting. Uh, the numbers were in mind were up to over my budget or the price I'm expecting. So however, uh, it was great day to get a very, very nice number for free, which was my lucky day. They have released today the uh, new ranges, the 6.1 and the 6.2 range with these uh, fabulous numbers. Uh, everything was awesome. I do encourage people to come the uh, to the next auctions to feel the atmosphere here it's yeah, kind of new to me because the first time to attend the auction and uh, something special happened today i won a, a number on uh, a raffle today it was definitely a unique experience for all bidders who succeeded to get good bargains those who won unique deals and even those who just shared the experience reporting for bahrain international amheba abdul ghaffar a Bahraini youth charity group named Khutwa have created a festival named the Kmart to generate funds for the underprivileged families in Bahrain. More details in this report with Shoghi Mohammed. Khutwa is a unique charity organization in the Kingdom of Bahrain because of their method of utilizing donated funds to provide workshops for the less fortunate in order to help them develop their skill sets and find jobs through which they can become self-sufficient. We started Khutwa Charity in 2014. We wanted to lend a helping hand to the less fortunate families in uh, Bahrain. Uh, we saw that they have income from the charities, but the problem is, is it's not steady income. So they, uh, there are months that they have money and there are months that no one donates to them, so they don't have money. So we wanted to make them more self-sufficient and more reliant on themselves. So the idea came that we make workshops and develop their hobbies, um, make them more into profitable businesses. We've had small events like uh, throughout the year, throughout since 2014, but um, this is our first major event. This is our first one, um, thanks to like Adi Mall that they've given us this area and they've let us make this this market. I've been a volunteer in Khatwa since 2014 and I love that we can create events like this that are fun for visitors and can also benefit the less fortunate families in Bahrain. Uh, we truly hope that we can make a difference through this event. It's a perfect event for people from all ages so the whole family can come from the youngest to the eldest. They won't be disappointed. They will find all sorts of activities and at the same time it's a great opportunity to lend, in, to lend a helping hand and support 
support those who are in need. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who supported us in making this event happen. We put in so much work, um, hard work and effort um, in bringing it together and helping the less fortunate families in Bahrain become more self-sufficient. And I think uh, together we can all make a difference. Visitors and vendors alike were thrilled to be a part of the K market and were inspired by the goal of the event. I'm really happy that I'm here today and I'm really proud of the Bahraini youth that are making a difference in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I love the purpose of, the, of this market. All the businesses that came in here are doing it for a cause and I wish them the best of luck. We had many opportunities to join other markets but we chose K market basically because of, uh, it helps benefit the poor and everything and hopefully it's a great start to help uh, promote our company. We're here today to be part of this event actually to tell people about some medical condition that we have it in the Bahraini community like multiple sclerosis, cancer and other stuff and we just started that and inshallah we're going to see us more into more awareness sessions. I feel like I'm making a difference by being here by doing something that I love, hanging out with my friends and at the same time donating to charity so it's really a good event. So far all I can see was great stalls from a lot of people, great stalls, I mean like food is Amazing, so much different things and local, which is a plus for everyone. We're here to support young people who are trying to raise money and uh, help people out in a very creative way and not do it in, in a boring manner, but kind of like give everyone a good time and also support other people. Through functions like these, Khutwa makes a difference in the lives of many people, all the while providing the youth with an opportunity to serve the community and lend a helping hand. The K-Market will go on here at Ali Mall until the 23rd of December. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.